My name is Wanchuku. This is my first time at the fair. Um, so far, so good. It's been very good. This is the first day. It's nice. There's a lot of variety in here. Literally, like I've seen a lot of stuff, and <laughs> I have a lot of stops to make still. And hopefully, I might be here tomorrow as well. My name is Amiola. Actually, this is my first time at, at GT Food and Drink Festival. I don't know what I've been waiting for, but I'm here now. I've seen so much food in one place, and I get anxiety when I see a lot of food sometimes. But I think I coped really well with the situation today. I haven't, you know, gone overboard. I've drank enough. I've eaten enough. So yeah, it's, it's been great. My name is Moji Sola Bakari. I'm the face behind Modre Foods. Modre Foods is a Nigerian agro-allied business that is into the sourcing and packaging of Nigerian grown food. It's a great opportunity to be part of this. It's an opportunity for us to showcase our products and also network with a lot of vendors. Hi, my name is Wemimo. I'm the owner of the Bread Monkey. We make uh, fruits, quick breads with no artificial uh, sweeteners and with no preservatives. Today is the first day, but so far it looks like it's picked up really quickly. There are a lot more people, at least for the first day, than there were last year. Even though last year was amazing as well. Fumi Wale Adegbite. I'm the CEO of Roaster Chocolate. It's nice to interact directly with customers and there's so many of them here. So it's been a very interesting experience. I'm Zainab. I'm the founder of Nima's Honey. So we sell 100% on our roasted honey in different um, varieties. The experience has been amazing. I actually came with the mindset that like I was actually going to expect a lot of people, but the turnout has been mad, I can say. It's, it's been amazing. Thank you so much. My name is Modupe of Dupes Bakery. I'm looking forward to the master class there. I'm looking forward to meeting our clients because we're mostly online and I'm looking forward to meeting new customers too. Absolutely loving Lagos at the minute. The vibe in here is amazing. So yeah, I've got a lot of Nigerian friends from Lagos in London and I've been trying to get them to get me over here for years and uh, I'm finally here, but none of them would bring me, so thanks for, <laughs> thanks for having me. So I guess if we're going to talk about food blogging, the first thing would be to check. Are there any food bloggers in the audience? Okay, okay. I started my food blog seven years ago and it kind of ballooned a little bit, so I got involved with the crowd. It kind of transitioned from food into travel after five years of being in London and my girlfriend and I moved to Sydney, so I've flown in from Sydney. I think I'm running at about midnight time now, um, but no, it's good to be here. There's a lot of different ratios and different versions, but the basic ratio is uh, four rice vinegar, two sugar, and one salt, just to keep it easy. Four, two, one. What are the two key requirements that makes a restaurant successful and sustainable? As a chef, I would have to say the food. But actually, I think we've, we've already had the answer by, by our sushi master today. And, um, and, and, and really, it's about hospitality. Food is warm service, and hopefully feeding them some great food um, at a fair price. And, um, and if you do those things, you should have both a successful and sustainable restaurant. People call me a chocolatier, but I'm a chocolate artist that specializes in chocolate. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Of some of the, the drinks that we were making today, when we first did it, you know, it, it wasn't just one test and then it was amazing. There was a few little tweaks, you know, a little bit more sugar or acid. You know, a lot of the time it's just a basic balance that you have to achieve. Um, and then anything else is just like flavor combinations that, you know, over time you, you get to know. I just want to start, thank you GT Bank for having us, uh, inviting us here all the way to Nigeria. It's, it's quite, uh, quite an experience and, and it's really cool for us to come all the way over here. I go by the name of Darian Phillips, aka Dr. Case. It's been a wonderful experience. We just had some amazing mixologists from uh, Australia teaching us a few things about using like, local ingredients to, you know, to create an experience via drinks. You know, it's been very enlightening, it's been very encouraging for us to search into our own ingredients and you know find out how we can create with what we have. So I appreciate that. My name is Ayodele Akimboe. Uh, it's been lovely, particularly for the kids. 
and you get to have enough time tasting um, new meals, new uh, drinks and chop chops and all. It's pretty nice. Yeah. What is the inspiration behind uh, Latin American cuisine? I think the, the, the Latin American inspiration is, is based about the ingredients. We have a lot of respect for the ingredients and the way they present. I'm a spice producer. The science behind spices is measurement. What differentiates, you know, maybe spice supreme from ace? It's all about measurement. Small enterprises being exposed to international chefs, international press, backed by World Class Bank. Uh, I truly appreciate GT Bank what they're doing. Encourage other institutions to follow step and, you know, Nigeria to the world. So thank you, GT Bank.